I've got a busy week gigging this week, Saturday morning. Um, I'm just getting all my stuff ready, so I'm doing a gig. Um, it's kind of half online with a small audience, so we can uh, uh, adhere to the rules that are still currently in place until Monday. So I'm playing with a band that I've played with quite a lot. It's a good fun band. Um, and I'm going back to amps and pedals and, and I'm going to use my new guitar. So I've set up, I've got my uh, gear all here. That's just the guitar stuff. So I've got my car amp, my pedal board, and I'm going to use my 335 for the first time on a gig, which I'm looking forward to. The uh, other thing is I'm doing the PA as well. I've got a uh, quite a nice, just small PA system. It's just really a vocal PA system, which I've had for a, a long time. And we use that on this gig because it's uh, only a simple setup. So I've got to go and put that in my car, which I haven't put in the car I've got now at all. Oh, I put part of it in last week, but I've not put the whole lot with my electric guitar gear in the car, all in one go. So I've got to take all the kids' seats out, work out how to put the seat down and load the car. So this is very exciting. So that's why I'm starting. It's 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. I have actually got to leave about one. Um, and I'll hopefully get some footage from the, well, at least the sound check of the gig. So I've got about, uh, f well, three gigs and a day's filming um, a live video this week. So I'm going to keep a vlog of it. Right more later before so this is why I've got to get out all of this stuff and work out to put this seat down to get my PA in and obviously through lack of use it's got buried behind lots of bikes and other junk I've successfully widened my aperture ready to receive my equipment this is rather puzzling my previous car, which I thought was a bigger car, it appears to be more room in this car than my other one. Look at that. Oh, something very pleasing about it all tessellating in the back. Just got to put my guitar in and something smart to wear. And then I should be off shortly. <laughs> We're all sound checked. Uh, we're going on in a little while. Here's the side of the stage. There's not many audience because they're not allowed to be. So there's loads of people on Zoom apparently. First gig on this guitar. <laughs> I'm not putting it on a stand, I'm too worried about it, so I'm keeping it in the case.
I've just come into my studio. I'm just downloading some of the footage from last night's gig, um, only to find this. How am I supposed to do some work if you're sat on my chair? Hey? Eh? No answer. That's typical. Yeah, I got back at 2.30 and had to unload my car, my PA and guitar gear um, after a two hour drive home. Oh, it's all glamour, it really is. Um, but I've downloaded the footage this morning and I'm very pleased with the way the guitar sounds. Now I'm thinking, do I prefer the amp to the modeler? Oh, I don't know. They both sound good. Which is better? Only one way to sort this out. Well, I don't know. I'm now going to start getting ready. I've got another gig at five o'clock this afternoon. Luckily, only uh, local. It's in Brighton on the seafront at a bar called Oso oh Social. It's an acoustic gig, which I shall be using my quad cortex. And I think I might use a different guitar today. I like to vary it a bit. I'm gonna, I've got a um, Takamini. A Japanese one. Um, it's a sort of bluegrassy one with a huge neck on it. It's got a valve preamp in it which eats batteries but um, I usually use it with a floor mounted unit that powers it but I'm not carrying that because I've got a long walk from the car park so I'll have to power it with four AA batteries. Um, that'll be half a gig for you gone. Can you hear the seagulls? Shut up! I'm making a video! So this is it's one of the Japanese ones. It's, I don't think you can see it. It's got a huge neck. Really big. Fills your hand. And it's got this valve preamp, which eats batteries, but I've got a power unit that I normally use. Um, but as I've got to carry it from the car park, I'm not going to use it. Oh, which way around is that going? It's a lovely sounding guitar. Full dreadnought size. What I have to do when I'm using it live is use one of these because it resonates too much, which is a good thing in a guitar, but it tends to feed back, so that makes a big difference. But I'm just going to try plugging it in. The pickups are working because I haven't used it for absolutely ages plugged in. Right, well that's a no to start with. Needs a new battery. Right, I'll be back in a minute. So it takes four of these, this size. And it's got this very clever little thing. I was thinking I can't get the battery out. You just press it through there. They think of everything, don't they? Yeah, the unit is a DI unit and it somehow through a stereo jack lead powers this valve preamp but it's a big heavy pedal it's good it's got a boost on it and effects loop and everything it's like a preamp di box with power but today it's just too heavy to carry i tried getting a lighter one made but it wasn't possible unfortunately right so then it says see do you can see the light warm up the valve has to come up to temperature and then hopefully i shall start getting some sound out of the i've got a little acoustic amp down here there we go. It's difficult to say whether plugged in it sounds as nice as the Maton that I've been using, but I'm going to give it a go. I've not used this through my quad cortex. So you can introduce the amount of valve you want. The more valve you put in, it kind of softens the top end. So of course when I bought it, I put it on full, but it doesn't work all like, like that really. You have to be a bit more subtle. Right, let's get the rest of my stuff ready. Angel from above. 
It's Monday afternoon. I've spent some of today uh, doing some kind of production editing work on a little bit of music that's going to be played on one of the UK's biggest breakfast shows, uh, radio breakfast shows, uh, at some point this week. Not mentioning any names, but he might have ginger hair. Um, and tonight, this is rather exciting, I'm not doing a gig, I'm going to watch a gig. I'm going to watch Robert Plant's new band called Saving Grace. They uh, added an extra date at the Worthing Pier Pavilion and uh, my dad contacted me and we managed to get some tickets. So I'm going with my dad, which is going to be very nice. <laughs> we're here, we're about to go in. Um, I can't see a poster. <laughs> if I find one, I'll film it. <laughs> Just arrived at the train station, parked my car. In the past, I've never ever managed to get a parking space at this uh, train station. One good thing to come out of COVID, it makes it easier to park, as nobody's going to work in London, I expect. Right, it's gonna get the train now. when you're doing things like that there's lots of sitting around to be done uh, sound checking We've got three keyboard players which is uh, fun I'm outnumbered it sounds great we've had a rehearsal and hopefully we shall start filming in a minute okay we've got a clapperboard look at this I've dreamt of having my name on a clapperboard <laughs>
I'm sorry, my ears cut out half a piece. I was playing by a pro. <laughs> it's it, right, this is run the end of the last chorus just to get the vocal right, then we'll do the whole song. Yeah? I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> First thing I've recorded. Went in. Oh, well, good that it should be me then. It is you. Hi, this is Tom's new GoPro, and I'm here to talk to you about it. It's very small. Tom's holding it in his hand. It's the stabilisation is quite amazing, but the chances yes. are that it's not not recording properly because I don't know. I'm, I threw the manual away. Oh right, so <laughs> I could be speaking in French. Oh no, it doesn't do translation. Oh, doesn't it? Doesn't, right, so okay. I might clip it on your symbol. You're going to use this symbol. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 